This is the all-new 2025 Toyota 4Runner. Is it the vehicle that enthusiasts have been waiting for? We have a first look right now on Driving Sports TV. I am a huge fan of the Toyota 4Runner. There's no secret. I personally own both a third and fifth generation. If you are a regular viewer, you know that my 2021 TRD Off-Road was featured prominently in several episodes of the series. I've also done quite a lot with the top spec TRD Pro, most recently putting it to the test right here at our Peninsula Proving Grounds. Oh, we're in the sludge. I have to back up to get out of that. What I like most about the 4Runner is its combination of size and capability. It's big enough to load up with all your gear and family, plus small enough to actually manage tight trails. Also, TRD trims come with the amazing crawl control and multi-terrain select systems. When combined with dual range four wheel drive and a locking differential, there was pretty much no limitation on where you could take it. But the fact is the fifth generation, it's slow, inefficient, and just out of date. Well, today I finally have a first look at the all new sixth generation 4Runner. First, I'm gonna cover all the general features, and then I'm gonna dive a little deeper into three specific trims. Pricing will be announced in the coming months, and these will go on sale in fall of 2024, later this year. Let's start by looking at it. like how the rear quarter glass wraps around the top, clearly a nod to the first generation design. Toyota also knew the roll down rear window was a big deal, so it's still here. But now you can also get a power lift gate as an option. The second row has a tumble fold design to allow for the largest available floor in the back. Third row seating is available on select trims. Standard ground clearance is 9.2 inches, but do note that TRD and Trail Hunter trims get more. Overall, this is an evolution of the design that I think does a great job of bringing those classic design cues forward, but with a new modern look. What do you think? Time to post a comment below. Like the newly updated Toyota Tacoma and Land Cruiser, this new 2025 4Runner is based on the TNGAF Global Truck Platform. This is a modern body-on-frame design that is laser welded with high strength steel to reduce weight, but still provide strength and durability where needed. In terms of size, the wheelbase actually matches the new North American Land Cruiser at 112.2 inches, though the overall length of the new 4Runner is an inch longer while being a hair narrower. That is bound to confuse some buyers who are trying to figure out where does the 4Runner end and the Land Cruiser begin. Ultimately, I think it's gonna come down to pricing, options, and of course, design preference, with the Land Cruiser being the more conservative of the two. Engine choices for the new 4Runner parallel what we first saw on the Toyota Tacoma unveiled earlier this year. The base unit is the iForce 2.4 liter turbo four. This produces a peak 278 horsepower and 317 pound-feet of torque. Mid and upper trims can option the iForce Max Hybrid, which features the same turbo four, but it's enhanced with a 48 horsepower electric motor integrated into the transmission, along with a 1.87 kilowatt hour nickel metal hydride battery. This boosts peak output to an impressive 326 horses and 465 pound-feet of torque. This hybrid is identical to the standard engine found in the new Land Cruiser, along with the standard 6,000 pounds of towing capacity. The transmission is an eight-speed automatic. Sadly, no stick shift available. Both two and four-wheel drive are available. With four-wheel drive, you of course get an electronically controlled dual range transfer case in either a part-time or a full-time system. 
It depends on the trim you pick. Limited and Platinum get a full-time setup, similar to what comes on the new Land Cruiser. All others, best I can tell, get the part-time system. The cabin matches what we've seen in other updates. It's a modern, rugged look that I rather like. You get a choice of either 8-inch or 14-inch infotainment touch displays running the latest Toyota software. This supports maps, music, wireless Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto. The gauge cluster has also gone digital, with either a 7-inch or 12.3-inch unit, depending on trim level and options. Now let's talk trims, and this is where things get really interesting. There will be a total of nine Forerunner trims available, including SR5, TRD Sport and Sport Premium, Limited, TRD Pro, TRD Off-Road and Off-Road Premium, Trail Hunter, and finally, a new top trim, Platinum. In this video, we're going to focus on the Limited, TRD Pro, and Trail Hunter. The Limited is a mid-grade trim and shown here in Heritage Blue. This comes with the standard iForce Turbo 4 engine and part-time four-wheel drive. Full-time four-wheel drive is available along with the more powerful iForce Max hybrid system. In the previous generation 4Runner, the Limited trim was more focused on street than off-road. And here we can see that too. With a massive lower air dam, large wheels, and all-season tires, this even has an available power step. Inside, it's essentially a clone of the new Tacoma interior, which I rather like. The optional brown leather you see here is especially nice. Under the 14-inch center display are actual buttons and knobs to control the climate, plus heat and cooling for the seats. There's also wireless charging, a switch for the transfer case, plus tow and drive modes. For audio files, a JBL system is available. TRD Pro is now the upper mid-grade targeting off-road enthusiasts. This color is called Mud Bath. No doubt it will be a popular choice as it looks amazing with those black fender flares. This trim comes standard with the iForce Max hybrid powertrain and part-time four-wheel drive. You also get 33-inch Toyo Open Country mild all-terrain tires wrapped around TRD wheels, underbody protection, TRD-tuned Fox shocks, rock rails, and LED fog lights. TRD Off-Road Pro and Trail Hunter trims do all get a locking rear differential, no locker in the front. They also get a new sway bar disconnect to maximize articulation off-road, in addition to multi-terrain select and crawl control systems. Also to note, MTS now has programs for both four high and four low to give you the best traction in a variety of conditions. Finally, we have Trail Hunter. This is a factory-built overland version of the new 4Runner. It takes the TRD Pro feature set and goes one step further. The color here is called Everest, which is interesting because Ford actually sells a competitor to the 4Runner overseas called the Everest. Just pointing that out. On the Trail Hunter, you get unique wheels wrapped in the same 33-inch Toyo Open Country tires, as well as ARB's Old Man Emu 2.5-inch forged shocks with piggyback remote reservoirs. This combo gives the Trail Hunter an additional 1.5 inch lift in the rear and a 2 inch lift in the front. Approach angle on the Trail Hunter is 32 degrees, departure is 24. I expect the TRD Pro has similar numbers, but I couldn't confirm at the time of this recording. These figures are better than the new Land Cruiser, which has a 30 degree approach and a 22 degree departure. With the top spec Trail Hunter trim, you do get an ARB roof rack, high mount air intake, otherwise known as a snorkel, rigid light bar with selectable colors, and a 2400 watt AC inverter for cabin and trunk area power. Clearly, the Trail Hunter is going to be an expensive grade, but if you were thinking about building an overland vehicle, this is the first time you'll be able to get one straight from the factory and covered by the standard 36 month, 36,000 mile warranty. Regarding the hybrid powertrain, which is standard in top spec trims, that has a separate eight year or 100,000 mile warranty. Regardless of powertrain, all 2025 Forerunners will also come with two years of factory scheduled maintenance and roadside assistance. So that's my look at the new 2025 Toyota Forerunner. What do you think? post a comment below. Is it what you've been waiting for? Or are you hoping for something a little bit different? For Driving Sports TV, I'm Ryan Douthit. Thanks for watching. I got a lot more work to do here at our Peninsula Proving Grounds to get it ready because we have so many great off-road vehicles we're going to be testing this summer. Uh, we have the Ranger Raptor coming. We have the Land Cruiser coming. We'll have the 4Runner. These are all vehicles we're going to put to the test right here and you're not going to want to miss it. So be sure to hit that subscribe button.